Falling from the heavens is something that breaks even the mightiest. Comets, rockets, and even humans won't survive the fall. One thing that might. An ant. Things fall from space all the time. Just think of a shooting star. These are bits of rock and ice from outer space that enter our Earth's atmosphere. Traveling several kilometers every second, they turn ablaze from air friction upon entering the Earth's atmosphere. Is this the inevitable fate of our poor ant? Most certainly. Not. When things fall, they have two forces acting on them. One is, of course, gravity which causes things to accelerate towards the ground. The second is air resistance, which pushes the body in the opposite direction. The faster the body travels, the stronger and stronger this air resistance gets until it perfectly cancels out the force of gravity. At this point, a falling body will reach its maximum speed, known as its terminal velocity. A human in the place of the ant will reach terminal velocity in under 15 seconds. At this speed, it won't be a pretty sight upon touchdown. But that is just where things get interesting. Ants are extremely light beings. This means the force of gravity acting on them is very very small. As our ant falls, it will get faster and faster. Just as quickly, the air resistance will balance out the force of gravity and the ant will attain its terminal velocity. And just what is this arcane quantity? 6.4 kilometers per hour. Our ant will fall and fall but as the ground gets close, it will land safely and continue on its day. The energy with which the ant will hit the ground is so small, you could easily just reach out and catch it. But it doesn't end there. Since we know the terminal velocity is the maximum speed the ant can reach, it means that ants are just completely immune to fall damage. No matter where you drop them from, they will land just fine. All is not well for the ant, however. With how frequently humans visit space, there's always a risk of someone farting. But what would happen then? Find out in this video, and don't forget to subscribe so you too, can question everything.